Hey everyone, so many people know that in the DJI Fly App in the Flight Data Center, it is possible to view your past drone flights on a map and visualize where the drone was flying. But have you ever thought to yourself, and I certainly have, that this would look so much better in 3D with a 3D view of the area below and be able to see the drone's path, complete with elevation gains also in 3D? Well, there's actually a very simple way to do just that with a little help from Google Earth, and that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. Let's get into it. So to be able to visualize the drone's flight path in 3D, we first have to extract the raw flight data from the drone and then convert the data into a downloadable KML file. KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language, and it's a file type that contains geographic data to be displayed in mapping applications such as Google Earth. There are a few ways to find the flight logs which contain the flight data, and the exact method is system dependent, which means there'll be a slightly different way to find the logs on Android compared to on an Apple device, or if you use one of DJI's remote controllers with an inbuilt screen. For this video, I'm using an iPhone with the DJI Fly app installed on it, and this method won't require connecting the phone to a PC, but if you have an Android phone or controller with an inbuilt screen, you should be able to connect the phone or controller to your laptop or PC via USB and transfer the files that way. So to find the flight logs on iPhone, we first need to find and open the Files app, which has the icon of a blue folder on a white background. And this will take you to your iPhone's main file directory. Click on the folder for On My iPhone, and this will show various folders of data from different apps on your phone. Of course, we're interested in the folder named DJI Fly, so open it and then scroll down until you see a folder called Flight Records. Here, you'll find many text files, each of which contains the flight data for all your different flights. You may have very many of these, so to quickly find logs from a certain date, you can use the search bar and input a date in the format year-month-date. If you think that a certain flight log is missing, you can go back into the DJI Fly app and in the Flight Data Center, just tap on the flight log that you think is missing. This will load in that flight log to the Flight Records folder in the Files app if it isn't there yet. The file size should be between a few hundred kilobytes and a few megabytes, and the file type should be .txt. Now that we've found the flight log we want to import to Google Earth in the Files app, we have to run it through a separate system and convert it into a KML file. Now, you can either select the file and email it to yourself, so you can do the next step on your laptop or PC, or you could do the next step on your phone. I'm going to be switching to another device just so it's easier to see. Type in airdata.com into a search engine, and this is the website we'll be using to convert our flight logs into a KML file. AirData is a fantastic website capable of analyzing your flight logs, and you can look at many different parameters of flight, such as speed, distance, sensor data, battery power data, and many more. There is a premium version of AirData, but the free version will be enough to get our KML file. You will need to create a free account in order to be able to upload your flight logs to AirData. Once you've done that, on the main dashboard, you will find the option to upload your logs. If you're doing this on your iPhone, you can select the flight log through the Files app as seen before, or you can either drag and drop the file and upload it to the website via your laptop's file explorer. Once the flight has been uploaded, you can go ahead and open that flight, and as you can see, the flight path is displayed as a yellow line on the map. However, this map is only two-dimensional, and so all that's left to do within AirData is to press on the option to download the map data as a KML file and the map file will be downloaded to your device. Now we can head over to Google Earth and import the KML file as a new project. Press on New and then on Open Local KML File. So now we have our flight path imported into Google Earth. You can click on the 3D button to see a three-dimensional view of the flight path complete with all its elevation changes. I think this looks really quite cool and that you can turn the camera angle to view the flight path from a completely different perspective. And as you can see, the map even displays the home point from when the drone launched. You can also change the appearance of the flight path by clicking on the route and pressing edit. You can change the color of the path and also the thickness of the line. It's just fantastic to be able to see your flight path in 3D space complete with all turns and elevation differences. 
The 3D modeling of the surrounding area also looks amazing. However, it's important to remember that not all cities or regions have 3D coverage in Google Earth. If this is the case, you'll still be able to see the flight path in 3D space, you just won't have the added benefit of also viewing the space at ground level in 3D. You can check if a region is modelled in 3D space by clicking on the map square and enabling 3D coverage. When you zoom out, this will display a yellow shaded region above places where the area is modelled in 3D. So there we have it. It's just amazing that you can view the flight paths in 3D space and it looks even better with the 3D view of the ground below. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please let me know by clicking the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see many more drone related tutorials about how you can get the most out of your drone flights, go and check out my channel. Well, that's it for today and thanks very much for watching.